Move on over to Mike Flood. He's expected to make some big announcements today. For having announced on Sunday, I'm going to begin, and uh, today we're going to have two speakers. Uh, my name is Mike Flood. I'm a state senator from Norfolk, and I'm running to represent the first congressional district of Nebraska in the United States Congress. Today, I'm joined by two governors, one current governor and one former governor, both of whom I've worked with. And I'm pleased to begin our uh, press conference today with Governor Dave Heineman. Mike, thank you very much. Good morning. There are two issues that I want to discuss. One is Congressman Fortenberry's legal challenges, and the other is the outstanding candidate for Congress that we have in Mike Flood. In modern political times in Nebraska, Jeff Fortenberry is the only Nebraska congressman that has ever been indicted on felony criminal charges. His actions have resulted in a dilemma for Nebraska's first district voters. We respect and appreciate his service, but we don't want to risk losing the seat to a Democrat. Therefore, I'm supporting and endorsing Mike Flood for Congress. I know Mike Flood very well. For six of the 10 years that I was governor, Mike Flood was the speaker of the Nebraska legislature. We worked together to pass the two largest tax relief packages in the history of the state at that time. We implemented the property tax credit relief fund. We lowered income tax rates for working class and middle class Nebraskans and for small businesses. We eliminated the marriage penalty in the state income tax code. We eliminated the state estate tax and we expanded the earned income tax credit. As a result, according to the Tax Foundation, Nebraska went from the 45th highest tax state to the 29th. Nebraska made more progress than any other state except North Carolina, and there's still more work to be done. During his time as Speaker, Mike Flood authored the most sweeping pro-life legislation in America to protect the unborn, and I signed it into law. We worked with then State Senator, now United States Senator, Deb Fisher in passing historic roads funding legislation. Mike Flood is an outstanding leader and a skilled legislator. He's an effective and dynamic communicator. He's pro-life, pro-family, pro-jobs, pro-lower taxes, and for protecting our freedoms. Mike Flood is a fiscal conservative, a man of action, and a person of integrity. As a first district board voter, I'm proud to support, endorse, and vote for Mike Flood for Congress. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Governor Dave Heineman. It's now my pleasure to introduce the governor of Nebraska, Governor Pete Ricketts. Thank you very much, Mike. I am here today to also add my endorsement and full support for Mike Flood to be the next congressman from the first congressional district here in Nebraska. My predecessor just did an outstanding job of outlining Mike's track record in the legislature, both when he was working with Governor Heineman and then as he's working with me. And I especially want to highlight Mike's pro-life background, because not only did he work with that pain-capable bill that was the first 20-week abortion bill in our country, but now he is working with pro-life warriors like Senator Joni Albright on a bill that would help make sure Nebraska remains a pro-life state should Roe versus Wade be overturned. So Mike continues that track record of pro-life. Mike also is one of those great conservatives that we're going to need representing us in Congress to push back. Yes, yeah, some major news right there. Endorsements for uh, Congress candidates, Mike Flood from Governor Pete Ricketts and former Governor Dave Heineman. Of course, this is big because Jeff Fortenberry currently holds that seat, a Republican candidate. Of course, he's receiving some federal indictment charges right now. So looks like the Republican Party is switching some endorsements to that candidate and Mike Flood right now. So big news. We're going to have much more on this coming up in our later newscasts.